Welcome back everyone, Killer and C here, back with another Sony Vegas tutorial. And today I'm gonna give you my top tip to help you edit in Sony Vegas. Let's go. All right, so tip number one. Here I have a video that I split up into multiple tracks. As you guys can see, I got tracks everywhere, clips everywhere. Here's a quick tip to pretty much turn all these tracks into one audio, one video track, making it easier for you to work with. This is your normal clip. Let's go ahead and save it. We're going to go ahead. Let's do a save as start from the beginning. And we're going to name this Sony Vegas Clips. Okay. You want to go ahead and save it. Sony Vegas. All right. Now, let's go ahead and close this. Now, you guys know if you go ahead and open it, and I'll do that right now, you're going to get all the clips again and all the tracks. Okay, now here's the trick. We'll go ahead and close this again. Open up your folder, not through Sony Vegas, through Windows. All right, so here is Sony Vegas Clips. Okay, that's the one that we saved. And what you're going to do is drag, hold it, and drop it into Sony Vegas. That's it. Basically, it's going to put them all together into the two tracks. As you guys can see, we have one video and one audio. Tip number two. If you go ahead and add a bunch of FX, let's go ahead and add brightness. Let's go ahead and make this bright. Just to show you, let's add some color corrector. Let's invert color just to show you. Yeah, that works. So if you guys can see, this is what my video looks like now, okay, with all the video effects. So maybe you want to go ahead and take one last look at the original to compare the two. If you want to keep the original or you want to keep the video effects that you put on. So you come right over here to this black and white circle. You click it. And then you'll see here, we'll have split. The left side is without any effects. The right side is with all the effects that you went ahead and added to the clip. Tip number three. So normally, if you want to go ahead and copy a clip, you would have to right click, copy, come right next to it, and then control V to paste or right click and paste. And then, but what if you want six of them? Are you really going to right click, copy, then right click, paste, and then do the same thing for each of them? No. Here's an easier way. Let's go ahead and get rid of that second one we just did. So let's just say that you want to do a hundred copies of this clip. You go ahead and hit copy. Then put the cursor right at the end of the clip. Hit control B. And then number of time to paste. You can put any number in here. You can put 10, you can put a hundred, you can put a thousand, 10,000. You get the idea. So let's just say for the tutorial sake, let's just do, let's do 15. Hit OK. And you got 15 identical copies right there. Done in seconds. Tip number four. All right. So normally whenever you want to move all the clips by moving one, you got to come down here, hit the arrow selector and highlight everything. But then you find out when you start moving them that, oops, I forgot one or I forgot two here or I forgot another track. And then you got to hit control Z and go back again and start all over highlighting everything. Or you forget about it and you rendered the video and then it looks like crap. Here's another tip for you guys. Let's just say I want to move the whole video about 15 seconds. And I want all the tracks to move with it. All you have to do, come right here to the auto ripple. Click the little down arrow. Click all tracks, markers, and regions. Now let's go ahead and click on the first one. And let's go ahead and move it. As you guys can see, everything is moving with it. Just make sure when you do it that the actual button 
the snap to grid is what I would like to call it is actually clicked on all right if not it won't work for you guys the last tip that I want to give you guys today is how to speed up or slow down any clip so let's just say that I want to speed up this clip right here what you want to do is click on it put the cursor right at the end hit and hold the control key and just go ahead and stretch in or out in to go faster out to go slower let's just say I want to speed this up go ahead and put it there let go and we'll go ahead and show you exactly how fast it went all right all right guys that's gonna wrap up this tutorial if you enjoyed it and want to see more like this please make sure to hit the like subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!